Richie here, and this is my review of the Maneco Labs 16 second digital delay Eurorack module. I decided to do this review and demo because I haven't found many on YouTube yet. And I feel like this module isn't getting the recognition it deserves, maybe because it's being viewed as just a guitar pedal in a Eurorack. The CV inputs make it very different than the guitar pedal, and the layout makes it very inviting for different applications within your patches. I'm going to take a look at several different ways this module can perform with and without the CVs. The original Electroharmonics pedal, the 16 second digital delay, was advertised in the early 1980s as Fripp in a Box, which was referring to Robert Fripp, the guitar player from King Crimson, and the ambient looping and spacey things he was doing with tape recorders and different effects of that time. This one pedal was able to reproduce a lot of what he was doing with multiple things. More on that later. Now, let's try to see everything this module can do. I'm using a very basic patch for this video with just a saw wave coming out of the brains and a four note sequence coming from the Behringer 182 sequencer. Later, I will add the Erica Pico random module to show off some of the CV inputs. I'm keeping this patch very simple so we could focus on the 16 second digital delay and not be distracted by the other modules involved. We're going to start by just using it as a basic digital delay, like any other module or guitar pedal. You'll notice the blue and red flashing lights to the left. The blue light indicates where the recording or sampling is going to start, followed by the red light. So in this case, we have four beats. The blue light indicates beat one, and then you'll see one, two, three, and four with the red light. The feedback and blend are just like any other delay. We can reverse the delay with the switch to the upper right. You'll notice that it sounds like it's moving forward again. This is because our four beat pattern is being recorded in the other direction. So when we flick the switch back to forward, it'll actually sound like it's being reversed. More on that later when we get into the CV inputs. Next is the infinite switch in the center which will just loop the four beat pattern over and over again. We can have other things play on top of our loop. I will show that by adjusting the speed of the sequencer. We can also reverse the loop. The slow fast switch will slow down our delay or loop, 
making it about an octave down. Now we're hearing our loop slower and going in the other direction. Now I'm going to switch the sequencer over to eight steps, but it will just be the same four notes repeating. That will allow me to take the other sequencer here on the right side and apply that to the CV inputs on the 16 second digital delay. You can see that the steps of the sequencer are affecting the speed of our delay indicated by the red light. Now I will adjust the course so it's an 8 beat pattern instead of 4. The sweep adjustments in the middle adjust the speed and the depth of the modulation of our delay. This kind of sounds like an old tape. Now we're back to a basic delay, but with the modulation added. Now let's take our second sequencer and put it into the slow CV input. Now let's do the same thing to the reverse CV input on the delay. Now that the sequencer is turning that reverse on and off, it's maintaining the reverse sound without making it sound like it's turning around again like it was earlier. Now let's take the gate out of our sequencer and put it in the trigger input. This is just syncing our delay with the tempo of our sequencer. 
This isn't very useful alone, but when we add the CV from the sequencer into some other inputs, it gets interesting. Let's take the sample and hold from our random module and put that into the slow fast CV input of the delay. Let's take that sample and hold and put it into our infinite CV. Mineco Labs also makes a guitar pedal version of this 16 second digital delay. There are quite a few videos up here that you should check out. That might be an alternative for your applications. If you're into Eurorack, I think this is the way to go. Now, let's try some of those Robert Fripp type things I was talking about earlier. <laughs> 